Hey Paul, can you hear me? I noticed when I, uh, cool. I noticed when I first started stream that my music levels were not showing at all. So there must have been some kind of win stupid Windows update that uh, caused everything to dump my audio settings. Which is dumb. But I'm glad that it is working now. Ooh, what food are you gonna grab? Can you grab me some? Lockmart of the Londarf is uh, Darf Londarf is the hubby. Not the only one who's had had audio troubles. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, Donut Damage had some audio troubles when he first started. Not sure if that was a Windows update, though. So. But yeah. Who knows? Did OBS update? Uh, not that I noticed. Then again, I didn't really notice much of anything. I think the husband is actually leaving the house for the foods. Which, all good. Um, I don't know, I did notice that um, a lot of the screens that show up when there's some kind of, like, reboot were- had popped up, like, um, disk defrag or whatever. Which, I don't know why I have that. I've got two solid state drives and that damages it if it defrags it. So, I'm not sure why I have those screens pop up, pop up at all. What I do know is that it has been an absolutely beautiful day today. Um, it's been quite cool the last couple of days and um, like I actually have my window open right now what the heck is this song no not listening to that <laughs> don't know what that was but I was not going to let that play too long this is acceptable so something I want to talk about today is um, about Hi. Where are you going? Okay, can you bring me? Can you bring me the foods? What if you are the food? <laughs> get your get your eyebrows out of here. Have fun, be safe, I love you. Actually, could you bring me a pop? Thank you. I love my husband. He's the best. He's the best Uber Eats driver. <laughs> I don't even have to pay him. Ah. Okay, so the shawl might be a little bit much, so I'm gonna show some shoulder. Oh my. Um, anyways, Paul, how has your day been? Has it been good? I hope it's been good. I know that, uh, you cancelled stream today, right? I forgot. Today's been weird time-wise for me. Cause, like, I think there was a nap somewhere in there. And, um, whenever I take a nap, it's just... It throws off my time conception for the rest of the day. But 
It's okay. I'm glad your day's been better. I know you were uh, feeling kind of rough this morning, but uh, I'm glad it got better for you. Um, oh, what I was going to talk about before my husband interrupted me with his eyebrows. Um, imposter syndrome. So I had an interesting experience today where I was watching one of my favorite streamers, uh, Mr. Joker. And the poor guy, he lives in, um, he lives in California and he's living in a mobile home with his wife in, I guess, a park, but he's got like so many uh, followers and subscribers and everything. And he's like very tangentially related or connected with people who do hermit craft, which is a really big thing on YouTube for Minecraft. And so I've, I've started watching him. He's really great, but apparently he was having an off day because he had gotten news that the, there were gas leaks underneath his mobile home, which meant that it, it was going to be a 900, sorry, not 900, $9,000 repair bill. And so he was really bummed about that. And he had a donation bar at the top of his stream that listed, I think the um, tagline was help me save up for a new home. And it was list put at five thousand dollars, and he only had like maybe fifteen hundred saved up so far. And so he was kind of talking about his situation and describing it. And all of a sudden, this guy comes in and drops a thousand dollars into his donations. And. It pretty much broke Mr. Joker for a while, and then we continued to break him as more and more people started donating hundreds of dollars. Like, there were a couple hundred dollar donations, there was a couple fifty dollar donations, there was actually a couple more thousand dollar, and uh, like, I think there was a total of three thousand dollar uh, donations and there was a another $300 donation somewhere sprinkled in there but the poor guy was just in a glass case of emotion and like after that died down and he, he met his goal he went from 1500 to over 5000 by the end of the stream and he was talking about how yesterday he had had, like, the worst case of imposter syndrome because he's, he could not figure out or understand why people would support him like that. And I'm just kind of looking at my own situation with what I talked about last stream with Mike's and, like, the $300 Twitch payout that I had gotten. And I was going... It's kind of interesting seeing it on the other side because I don't understand the why either. I don't understand why people helped me get to 50 subscribers. I don't understand why people try to get me to level five hype trains repeatedly. I don't understand why, like, why would you do this for me? Who am I? And then I kind of stop and I think, well, why do I, why would I do that for Mr. Joker's stream? And I immediately start coming up with answers. Well, he's genuine. He, when you see that he's sad, he's genuinely sad. When he's happy, he's genuinely happy. He doesn't fake anything. And I kind of remembered that I, starting out back when I first started streaming, I made a promise to myself that I was going to be kind of like him because I aspire to be like him and uh, like it doesn't feel forced 
he genuinely wants to listen to you. He genuinely wants to hear about your day. He remembers your name whenever you show up. Even though he's got like 5,000 followers, he remembers each one. And it's that kind of genuine personality that is just amazing. And I guess I can only hope that I am the same way for you guys. Because that's, that's my goal. My... I never want to force anything. I never want people to think, oh, she's just in it for the money, because I'm not. I'm I'm here to bring games that I love and share it with someone new, with you guys. With it, Maybe you haven't played this game before or never seen it or heard of it before, but I want to share it with you because you're my friends. And I think you should know about it because it's awesome. So... Enough of me being sappy, I'm gonna pull up the game now. <laughs> and come on, Paul, you know that's not how I spell my name. How dare you? <laughs> A-L-L-I-E. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that sap. Alright. Hi, young fox child. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. You miss me being sappy. Thank God. <laughs> you don't need to see me being sappy. Too much of that going around anyways. Lost train of thought halfway through writing. That's fine. You'll you'll pick it up at some point. Uh, Jenny LeClue. Detective Boo. Play anyways. Game capture. Uh, Jenny Leclerc, there we go. All right. Continue. All right, interrogation of CJ. Need to find clues. Sticker! Mine. Another sticker! Please do not cross! Yes. You're just swarming with stickers, my friend. Ah, there's another one! Alright, we're just gonna do a sticker check for you. Oh my lord! What is that, five stickers now? Alright, that seems to be all the stickers. Alright, um... Let's actually look for clues now. Okay. What happened to your compass? Before it was wandering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Exactly! Do you see now? It's not a compass at all! So what is it then? Aliens! Aliens? What are you talking about? E.T. Extraterrestrials! Beings from another world! I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ, there's no such thing. What? There. No, not you too. I'm sorry, CJ, but it's time to get serious. The Dean is dead and my mom's in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurton, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they aren't looking for. That's, That's why true. I come here every night, to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can sense their presence where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Uh, okay, we'll take the compass. Okay, I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Good. You can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Just remember, when the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. They were here Compass before. Get. They will return. And we'll be waiting for them. Uh-huh. Yep. Totally. Okay. Uh, oh, pocket thingies. You're right. Yeah. 
Gumbled library card. I know you're in the library the day Dean Strasbury died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did! Great. What happened? They changed the bathroom set from strawberry to pie! <laughs> it's most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Was there unusual. anyone else in the library? No, uh, just the dean and I. Till I, uh, I, uh... Until you left. It's not like you to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I, uh, I lost track of time. I was late. For an appointment! An appointment? Where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection! Leading the witness. This isn't a trial, CJ. <laughs> it's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. Hmm. There's something you're not telling me. Is there? Seems sketchy. Pocket thingy, pocket thingy. That just looks like a patch, honestly. Familiar of notes? Those scribbles look familiar. You have those? I found your map of Arthurton in the library. Keep it! It's a great map! Very rare! Ripped it straight out of the town charter, first edition. Come to think of it, only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope! Got it all backed up in the cloud! What cloud? Did I say cloud? I meant head. So what do all those notes mean? <laughs> Shadow Men? Who are the Shadow Men? Yes! You're starting to see differently! There are patterns everywhere! Keep searching! Okay. Interesting. What is this there? There's one more clue. What am I missing? Floodies didn't light up. What else are you hiding, sir? Oh, you've got a black eye! What happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? It wasn't a fight. More of a misunderstanding, really. A seriously oh. purple misunderstanding? Well, you should see the other guy. <laughs> CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. I needed to learn. <gasps> CJ! Depressed bookshelf! Hi! I haven't seen you in ages! Mwah. Good to see you, girl. Is this a confession? Welcome in. Well, we're going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strasbury? Oh no. The Dean? Oh! No! But you just said... Good, Jenny! Suspect everyone! Even me! I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time. But I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but do you have an alibi? Your That's why I left these the notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, Jenny I, need I need your, your help. help. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. <laughs> Risk being followed? Never! But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper. What did he write all these messages on? Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna go to the next one. Let's do corner pieces first. There we 
here we I go. I knew it. You wrote all these messages on a piece of newspaper. Hmm. All right, time for some reading. Cover story continues as the only witness and prime suspect. Miss LeClue is being held without bail at the Arthurton City Jail. Miss, Mrs. LeClue has not given any comment and has refused legal counsel when offered. To, to the nature of the case, Sheriff Winston LeClue has distanced himself from all proceedings in order to maintain a perimeter to limit the conflict of interest and uphold the law and justice to the full ex extent possible. Uh, add local idiot ruins school play. Parents feared for children's safety and grades. And Avocado Heights school play and parade about the founders of Arthurton was ruined by one of one town idiot's ramblings. The man, identified simply as CJ, witnesses to the terribly misguided man's rant, claimed that after he ran onto the stage, he began yelling at a small innocent child dressed as an inkhorn, later identified as Sheldon, grade three. Witnesses called the crazed man barking, they are lying to you, they don't know what they are talking about, the truth is up there at the frightened child. Principal Bag Bagley, who had been watching from the sidelines, rested the man off stage and away from the now crying children. The man then ran through the streets shouting, they're trying to shut me up, they're trying to shut me up. One parent replied, maybe it's time someone did. Police arrived soon after, though it was a bit of a struggle to catch and arrest the man, Police eventually managed to book him on charges of disturbing the peace. Another parent claimed it was the best show I've seen at the school, although the bit about the aliens was a bit far-fetched. Avocado Heights, earlier today, a scene of see, uh, tears and terror. Okay. Interesting. Alright. The front page was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. Sheriff Winston the Clue has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if he won't help her, I will. Wait, is there something on the back? No, that, that's already what's on the back. We already know that. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she'd uncovered the truth of his father's death. Thursday That's evening the day of the Dutch. Dean's murder. Edition. Okay. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of town, miles from the library. What else? CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Krusty's bakery. Agatha Krusty. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He'd lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They had been friends ever since. Say it's Winnie Todd. Ooh, time. 3.55. Clearly the afternoon. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean. All the evidence is right here. Indeed. Case of the dead Dean. How can I prove, can I CJ, prove CJ is innocent? innocent? Um, well, let's see. The clock was... The clock, the location, and the black eye? CJ's black eye only proves he was in a fight. It okay, could have so been with the clock, Dean. Uh, wasn't the black eye. It's the newspaper edition. CJ was photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 p.m. on Thursday. Two minutes before the Dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. Solved. CJ, you're innocent! What a relief! But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. 
Every part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed. But I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Have you ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the Dean there. Widow's Drop! No, but it sounds suspicious. It does. Well, anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. Who's they? Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do. All the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. The truth is hiding right under our feet if we only stop to look. <sighs> I'm more confused than when we started. <laughs> well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's job. <laughs> what? Achievement unlocked. Mysterious message. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watching. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. Damn it! I've got this. Don't worry. Nice job, Jenny. I'm sure that'll buffer it out. That'll buff out. <laughs> I know, right? It really does sound like uh, Doc Brown. Oh, Jenny thanks for the donation to the cosplay. The almost done bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the forgotten forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. Sneaky. I just need to remember how to actually pilot this thing. Great minds think alike. I guess they do. this way. It was around the top of the bear claw. Yeah, it was down here. Now I can go that way. Sweet. In a boat. I'm in a boat. I'm in a boat, 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 boat. That's the way to my house. Leave. Let's get out of here. I'm done. Job. The night was still and quiet on the far side of the lake. No one ever comes down here, not since they stopped repairing the bridge. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. This is CJ's fault. He really believes Ali, all that stuff. you are an amazing streamer, things, and I appreciate no you. Thank you. I wonder what he meant by that. Sticker! Sticker club enthusiast achievement unlocked! Yeah! Yeah! Wait, sign. Forgotten Forest Trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. Fun! A 
And there goes the power. Perfect. Just as I'm about to enter the spooky woods. The good folks at Arthurton Power and Light were not easing Jenny's fear of the dark. Of course, this was the very reason yep. curfew had been put in place. <laughs> yeah, Jenny's not taking any guff from the uh, author at all. Spooky. Jenny's, Jenny's imagination ran wild. In the darkness, every sound was a threat. Every shadow, a monster. But she was nearly home. Just... Just a little further. <laughs> Everything looks like UFOs now. Her eyes. <laughs> Creepy. It's not good. It looked like Jenny had reached a dead end. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mug of hot chocolate. I'd rather plummet to my death. Have a good one, depressed bookshelf. Uh, is there a way to jump this? Nope. It was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating jumping across. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the math. Six feet, badly damaged. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Strong tailwind. Taking into account the strong tailwind, and factoring in my athletic prowess, or lack thereof, I could make that jump two out of three times. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay. Maybe the odds weren't so good. And now she was dangling from a splintered plank one slip away from certain death. It's just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down. It's okay, you'll be fine. Jenny is your spirit animal. Feel that. There's a lot of vines holding this entire thing together. I found a scrap! supposed to do? Continue climbing up? Am I trying to get back onto the bridge? I already, I already ADHD'd and forgot what I was trying to do. I 
guess going up was not correct. Yeah, I agree. It should have collapsed several several times ago. So that let me up. But was I supposed to? Oh wait, there's a branch over there. Maybe I'm supposed to jump there? Was this the end for our tiny hero? As her spindly muscles began to give way, an image flashed before Jenny's eyes. Her mother, dangling from a ledge, Unable to pull herself to safety. Just climb. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? Climb, girl. I can't give up now. Mom needs me. <laughs> Got this. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? Absolutely. It's too late to turn back now. Good job, Jenny. It might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. That's not my heart. That's... CJ's compass! Oh. The needle is shaking like crazy. Interesting. What should I investigate here? Kick. Kick, 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 I was delivered a Pepsi. What's Pick this? Scrap. Another postcard piece. Curious. Arthurton. Is this what the compass was pointing to? Jenny paused for a moment and listened. It was quiet but distinct. A constant pulse. Mechanical. Unnatural. Man-made? But other than the sound it emitted, this rock was like any other in the forest. It certainly doesn't seem to be acting like any other in the forest. Anything else I can discover here? Guess not. Weird. Find out more about that later. Oop. Ah! Secret, secret, secrets! Gallery item. Yes! Oop. Another clip. And vines. Any 
anyone else, uh, did anyone else climb a ton of trees as a kid? I did. A ridiculous amount. I love climbing trees. Somehow, I did not break a single bone in my body. It still happened. Not sure how that worked, but uh, it did. Knock on wood, of course. Mm, it's getting pretty foggy. Suspicious. There's something under there. Suspicious. Clear the leaves. Clear them. I have it. Ooh, stickers. Jenny yes. had spent her whole childhood exploring the woods behind her house. But I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's words. People don't see things they aren't looking for. She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow, it's a trap door. Ali, you are an amazing streamer, and I appreciate you. Thank you, Hobbit. Sticker. Uh, yes, this game has autosave. Is there any more stickers? Stickers? Seems to be it. What a strange device. The wires are connected to the door. Okay, it's one of these puzzles again. Alright, so top doesn't move when I move the bottom one. Oh, that was really easy. Achievement unlocked. Locksmith's Apprentice. We're in. Uh-oh, I heard that. How's it going, bats? A stale metallic odor filled the air as Jenny peered into the opening. It sure is dark down there. It sure is. Too dark. But I can't just leave this unexplored. I have to see where it leads. Adventure and so is out Jenny there. descended blindly into the unknown. <laughs> into the deep dark. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing's gonna munch my bones. Oh my, that is very in intimidating looking. Very ominous. That sounded like a fart. Sound good. No, it doesn't. Oh my. In all her short life, Jenny the Clue had never found herself in such a peculiar place. The town that once seemed a small lifeless pond was suddenly an ocean of mysterious possibilities. Equal parts terrifying and intriguing, it was incredible. Yes, yeah, no kidding. An incredible mystery in her very own backyard. Case of the mysterious laboratory. Or should I say laboratory? Any stickers? Mm. 
Can I get to the second level? No. Apparently I cannot. So three items of investigation machine. Jenny wiped away a thick layer of dust. <coughs> Jeez, how long has this been here? Clearly the equipment had lay dormant for a long time, and yet... It's so futuristic. Straight out of those comments Keith is always reading. Starship cadets and the race for space. <laughs> it feels... Starship deep. Enterprise. <sighs> Now I'm starting to sound like CJ. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Looks but its purpose military. would remain a mystery. Jenny dared not touch its intricate interface. I'll just press all the buttons and see what happens. Oh Heck dear. yeah, girl. She heard something hidden in the static. A voice. What is he saying? It's a pattern. It keeps repeating. Animals and numbers. Animals and numbers. People in the future sure talk weird. Was it a cry for help? A shopping a code. list? Someone with extremely limited vocabulary? Whatever it is, it must be important. It's a code and cipher. So she transcribed it in her journal. Oh, I love those codes. Love those. Looks fancy. And broken. So, if I am correct, what I'm thinking it is, is it some kind of code where you gotta go find a book, and it has to do with finding, like... The animal is probably like a chapter or something, and the number is like the number of the word that you're supposed to look for, or something. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But I love codes. I've always loved codes. I should There's actually incorporate that. The of the ladder. Paper. It's just a blank piece of paper. Or is it or blank? Is it? Jenny traced her finger over the page. She felt the clear indentations left by a pen. I know exactly what to do. Yeah, girl. One, two, three, four. It worked. One, two, three, four. It's it was a code of some kind. The For world's least secure code. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Wow. And nailed it. Sphere hermetically sealed. Oh. What did we turn on? Uh oh. What did we do? What's happening? Radioactive safety margins cleared. Running at 54% efficiency. Wrong lever! But what's it doing? Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Decompressing spherical chamber. Okay. I should get out of here before my skin melts off. I agree. Achievement unlocked. Buried secrets. Quite the sphere.
Uh, what? Don't look now, but I think the stuff boulders is must flying. have weighed a ton each, yet they floated in the air like balloons. <gasps> CJ said he saw a swarm of UFOs circling the Forgotten Forest. Was Jenny beginning to make sense of CJ's wild ramblings? I'm gonna need a bucket of coffee to unpack all this. <laughs> Hi, Callie! Girl, move! Oh, God. No squares allowed. Look at Our old fort. She's it never didn't seen look that like movie much, all the way through. But this treehouse had once been Jenny and Keith's favorite hiding spot. I could never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned and swore never to let anything come between oh, them. Oh, haunted puppies. Just thinking about him hurt. Oh, <laughs> Jenny, my heart. Jenny's investigation goes well today. Uh, we made stuff uh, levitate. What was that? Steven! <laughs> Steven! Steven! What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. No, oh, jeez. Something's out here. Something big. Real okay, big. So we gotta sneak past the There's police. There's nothing there. But I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. For the last time, Kevin, the radios are for emergencies only. <laughs> oh, little li that was lip wiggle. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she knew this place like the back of her I hand. Not call two people. If swarming. anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. Family movie night soon. I'm down. Uh, there's That's a window. Tempting. But Jenny couldn't risk being seen by the police. There's probably a sneakier way in. Okay. This place is crawling with cops. What could the police have found inside her house? And if they found what they're looking for, why are they still here? Jenny could try to climb the tree. But I already see an easier way in. Okay, I'm not as bad as my mom. You can say hell. Um, it's just... Uh, like, the C word. and Like, just basically keep, keep it vaguely clean. Um, F word is definitely off limits. Dang, the front door's covered too. Let's put it this way. If Jenny can say it, you can say it. Oh! Sticker! That was cleverly hidden. Dang. Oh, another sticker. I carved that jack-o'-lantern. How normal life had seemed just days ago. For a moment, she missed that life. There'll be plenty of time to carve pumpkins once I've saved my mom. Thank you, Paul. You're sweet. Sticker. Please, sticker. Uh, up door. My room. And inside. Upside. My detective gear. The window looked a promising point of entry. Yeah, the, uh, I could climb the tree up onto the roof. But as Jenny knew, all Upstairs the windows on the roof. second floor That's were bolted down. That's what I was trying down. to say. Dad did it after Where's a raccoon heart? got in and trashed the place. Police officer is a sticker. Ah, he's not a sticker. 
out of the police's line of sight, the basement was her best entry point into the house. Ooh. Except that window is locked, and all my lockpicking gear is inside. The window was ajar. The frame damaged. Somebody broke into my house. That's my job. <laughs> but who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. What if they're still there? To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. One false move and the game would be up. Well, we can't have that. Hey! Oh, who goes there? Caught! Jenny would have to think fast or risk being jailed like her mother. Here goes nothing. Uh... Steven! Please tell me you're there! What's up, buddy? I, I think you should know, and I say this with 100% certainty, <laughs> that there's a... Spit it out already. There's a mountain lion out here! <laughs> Very likely. They're indigenous to this area. What? Just don't let it eat you. I don't need any more paperwork. Oh, I oh, love God. this comrade. I think I'll just uh, head inside for a minute to, uh, to, to check on something. Phew, that was close. Uh, very nice. Achievement unlocked, improv artist. I dig it. Someone definitely forced this open. Would Jenny enter the dark basement? Yes, she would. It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. Oh my. Jenny was in, undetected. Home sweet home. What the heck? Who left this here? Jenny's father had never carried a briefcase, and her mother couldn't afford one. Let's see who this belongs to. The heck? Oh, there's fingerprints. So one, one, three, four. The hawk and the who carries weasel? around a fancy briefcase with a children's book inside? The hawk and the weasel. Hang on a second. Jenny recognized the book. She'd seen a copy of it next to the dean's lifeless body. In the library. That's there must suspicious. be something significant about it. Uh, well, for one, there's my sticker. Is that a sticker? No, that's not a sticker. Okay. Oh, there, there's another sticker. Mine. Penguin. Oh, did did anyone else know that uh, Benedict Cumberbatch absolutely cannot say the word penguin? He says penguin, which is absolutely hilarious, and I love it. Uh, Any more stickers? No. Okay, so I think we're done with stickers. The rabbits and the bear. There once lived a family of rabbits. Their home was a three-story tall carrot cake near, uh, near 
a river. Uh, no, he, he narrated some kind of uh, penguin documentary, and uh, it, it was funny as heck. Walking past, the bear smelled the delicious frosting and began eating the lake. What is the meaning of this? She will purge us of our house and home, cried the smallest rabbit. Soon the house had lost nearly all of its icing. Eventually, the only thing left was the furniture, satiated, the bear passed, and the terror passed. The rabbits had survived. They were now free to run about and gather materials to build a new house. Hopefully, a bit less tasty this time. And there's numbered stanzas. Okay. The hawk and the weasel. High above the forest, a hawk spotted a weasel and attacked. Injured, the weasel lay low in the grass where it could listen for its pursuer and lick its rancid wounds, but the hawk was relentless. Fear turned to despair. How will I survive? cried the weasel. Suddenly, the screeching of the hawk was silenced by a thunderous blow. An enormous black crow carried the hawk away. Relieved, the weasel slinked home, laughing at its good fortune. Uh, okay. Uh, the wolf and the sheep. A uh, wolf who had caught his feet in a hunter's trap pleaded with the passing sheep, Please free me before my wound becomes infected and death takes me. Why should I help you when you would s as soon eat me? demanded the sheep. Come now, let's, let's not relive past transgressions. Free me now and I will be your servant forever. The sheep released the wolf and the wolf ate the sheep. Okay. The goose and the golden egg. There was once a woman who discovered a magical goose who laid golden eggs. The woman collected the eggs for herself, sold them, becoming rich. She grew impatient since the goose could only lay a single egg each day. The woman cut open the goose, intending to take all the eggs at once, but in the end, she found no eggs inside and the goose was dead. So she killed her golden goose. Boy and the Whale one day, a terrible storm rolled through the valley, flooding the town and forming a lake. One boy survived by floating on his bed. Exhausted and starving, he prayed, Someone save me and I will forever be in your debt. A whale came diving down through the maze of clouds, dipped below the water, surface lifting the boy onto her uh, back. I'm in desperate need of a navigator, can you help me find my way home? The boy agreed, so she fed him fish, and off they flew into the sky to find a new home together. Okay. Let's look for clues. Um, any... Oop. Rabbits. This feels familiar. Like I've seen it before. Wait, no! I've heard it before! On the radio in the underground lab! Could there be a connection between the cryptic radio message and this book? Let's Quite find possibly. out. Uh, okay, so Rabbit 49. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh jeez. Hold on. I set down my controller and it broke everything. I had orange juice in a wine glass. Gl blah, 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 blah. In a wine glass for my hydration today. Uh, bear, 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 bear. Bear? Oh, bear. Bear 78. Uh, say? All right, whale. 36. I was right, it is this kind of, uh, code. So basically, it's the 36th word. Uh, okay, rabbit. Uh, 55. 55. Weasel. 
diesel. Okay. Weasel 23. Rancid. Er, wolf. Okay, so the animal tells you what uh, parable to look in, and then you see their stanzas. So this is the 16th uh, word of the uh, poem. So basically in the wolf and the sheep, we're looking for the 51st word in this. So... 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. We live. Uh, bear. So, eighth word. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 19, 20, 21. Soon they will all listen, relive their rancid past. The message read like a threat. But from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? Or maybe it's not related to Let me the get Dean's this killer. Someone's broadcasting a sinister message all. in code, which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned laboratory hidden in the forest. And a secret to decode this message is written in a children's book? which was locked inside a stranger's briefcase in my basement. All of this was true. That doesn't make it any less crazy sounding. But not all mysteries could be solved in an instant. Sometimes questions had to percolate, like a good cup of coffee. Only then would the answers become clear. I guess I'll let it brew for a bit. Hmm. But right now, I need to get to my room and find my detective gear. Sounds like a perfect place to take a break. For a bathroom break. Achievement unlocked. Books of secrets. Alright. I'm going to put us over to intermission. Alright. Resume. Any secrets? Oh crap! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing. Just looking for more beer. More beer? Who says we have beer in here? You make yourselves at home, why don't you? Yeah, no kidding. Forget about it! There's more in the back of the fridge! They better not eat my cookies. Jackpot! <laughs> <laughs> they got cookies, too! How dare hey, you? Have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards and suddenly you want to search the house! Can't handle the pressure, eh? Oh, those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? What kind of police officer forces us? Arthurton's finest, everyone. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom without being caught by the police. Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A veritable treasure trove of old possessions. Surely something around here would prove useful? Maybe. But I can't see a thing. Let's shed some light on the situation. Is it really wise to be turning on lights? Of course the fuse is missing for the lights. Oops. What triggered me? What? Piqued my interest, madam. What is it? Oh, there it is. I thought I went over that like a million times. Very exact, which is annoying. 
Jenny okay. wasn't prone Old to desk. sentimentality, but seeing her father's desk, the disorganized muddle of books, photos, and the faint smell of ammonia, more reminders that her dad was here not so long ago. Aww. Miss you, Dad. Okay, stickers first. Stickers, stickers. No, stickers, it seems. Fascinating a field guide flora. to fascinating flora. Written by Weiss, Felding, and Strasbury. Did the Dean write this book? Okay. FA, fantastic. TH, thoughtful. ER, earnest. Today I love you one molecule more than mom. Jenny. P.S. You promised to take me for donuts this weekend. Don't forget. Oh. That's so sweet. This one test tube looks recently used. The others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled on the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky. Very interesting. Gallery art! Mine. Mending, Mending the, the molecular bonds of marriage. Mom and Dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. Results of a restorative transducive coupling experiment. Possible changes after initi initial phase, cycling, and post dynamic quantum. You spelled quantum wrong. Quantum tunneling has transpired. Observed changes in higher dimensional planes has led to a regression in phase modulation of ra radio frequency spectra. Bandpass filtering has produced no different differentiated results in advanced hol holography has not shown any positive change either. Further study is required to identify narrow beam secure spectrums from which to transmit further communications. What the heck does any of that mean? This was years ago. I look like a kid. You are a kid. One of the rare times that Dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. Take the photo. I might, um, uh, need this later. Gallery art! Quantum tunneling and adaptive spectral optics. Hmm. Sounds like a real page turner. Dad was such a nerd. Interesting. A lot of quantum tunneling things. Oop. Stuff in here. This is from the day of Dad's accident. Mom must have kept it. October 13th. Tragedy befell Gumboldt University this morning when an experiment in the chemistry labs went wrong. An, accidentally, an accident caused a destructive explosion, killing one scientist and injuring several others. The area was immediately cordoned off and no one allowed in due to the potential ha hazardous materials involved. Deadly chemicals. While the investigation is still ongoing, police have identified Henry LeClue as the scientist killed in the explosion. He is survived by wife and Ju uh, Julie and daughter Jenny. Dean Strasbury, head of the school and close friend of the LeClues, gave a statement on campus this afternoon. What a tragic and unpreventable accident. Henry was working 
with dangerous chemicals and it looks like he made a grave error. He was under a lot of stress. People make mistakes. We've lost a great friend and neighbor today. Missing fish found. Pros and cons of pants. <laughs> October 13th. Okay. The Dean called the lab explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. There was a lot of emphasis, emphasis put on it was unpreventable. Art! Yes, please. inspections report. I've never seen this before. Complaint. On May 14th, an anonymous source filed a complaint with the university regarding the lack of proper ventilation in the labs. The equipment we have is old and frankly dangerous. It's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt. Process inspections of facility revealed a dangerous and unsafe work environment. Despite several violation notices and follow-up inspections, the school consistently failed to address non-compliant safety standards. Conclusion. John Ackred, don't let anyone work in that lab. It's a death trap. Recommend immediate closure of facilities until new equipment and upgrades can be made. Leslie Strausberry, October 5th. He knew. He knew. October 5th. That was one week before. Her father's accident. Hi, Dee Dee. How's it going? The Dean signed the report. Someone had circled the signature in oh, red pen. No. Is the Dean responsible for our father's death? Oh, jeez. The Dean whose murder we are investigating is responsible for our father's death. <laughs> Pillington Millington! The th plot thickens. Indeed it does. Don't let anyone work this in that lab. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. But they were all wrong. Hi, Ninju. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there. And worst of all... Dean Strausberry knew. Mm -hmm. But he still let my dad work there. Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything. But it was a clear motive for murder. Thanks. Revenge. My mom wouldn't do that. But who else would see it that way? There must be an explanation. I just don't know what it is yet. Uh, take the evidence? I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Was Jenny sure this was the right thing to do? It broke every rule in the book. Why would she need to hide evidence if her mom was truly innocent? Mom isn't here to defend herself. It isn't fair. But however she tried to justify it, Jenny knew this wasn't the choice of a great detective. I need to buy myself some time. I can't afford anyone jumping to conclusions before I've had a chance to investigate. You need all the evidence. Anything else in this drawer? Doesn't appear to be. What's in? Oh, no, 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 no. There's one, one more desk. Okay. Friendly fuse, mending the molecular bonds. Another one. We've got two copies of the same. Friendly fuse. Aha! The missing fuse. Is that what we were looking for? I'd already forgotten. <laughs> I guess that's what it was. And then there was light. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back. Now, where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? Wait, what'd I do? I don't like being accused of stuff. How do I get the thing up there? 
Lab papers, office. Oh! Secrets! Show me your secrets! It was Allie? A shaft of light ah. peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back there! Ooh. I just need a way through. Climb, girl! Can we climb? No. Can I crouch? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to grab. Got it. Everything smells like grass. Jenny's instincts like had been correct. Dozens of boxes lined the back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful here, but it'll take forever to search through them all. <laughs> Crap paper. Uh, garden tools, pots, pans, baby clothes, photos, kitchen, CSI supplies, old clothes, towels. Oh, scrap paper. Whoops. Books. I read that wrong. Kitchen, garden. These are not fuses CSI you were looking supplies. for. That must be mom's old gear. Eh, we'll rifle through that. I'm the hero. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anti-hero, maybe. New sticker. Jam. Ooh, jam. That sounds amazing. Ugh, spiderweb. Gallery art! Uh, practical homicide investigation. Investigation. It's not as good as mine. Chaotic but at neutral? least it works. Definitely. More or less. Eh, okay. Uh, practical homicide locksmith kit. Yeah. My key to the city. An old set of lockpicks. I need a lockpick set. Sounds like so much fun. Forensics for dummies. Tucked away at the and bottom I of the box, something coat. colorful caught Jenny's eye. She pulled it carefully from the container and unfolded it. This must be Mom's old jacket. It's so pretty. It smelled the formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From her CSI days. <laughs> and so, she tried it on. Aw, playing dress up as Mom. Oh, look at her! She's so cute! <laughs> Title drop. <laughs> <laughs> Fits like a glove. Nice. A giant oversized glove. Mm, and it smells like mom. Aww. Her mother had never felt so close, and yet so far away. I won't let them take you away from me, too. I can only hope that I have Jenny's such a good was relationship complete. with my kiddo. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. She had a serious crime to solve. Indeed and a do. seriously sharp outfit to match. Heck yeah. <gasps> Somebody else is here. Uh-oh. <gasps> Shadow Man! I wonder if he's volunteering his hat. Oh, Dee Dee, this game is mad cute. That was no Highly cop. recommend it. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. Oh, wait, I can probably use this box to reach that other area. There we go. Oh, more scrap. Three 
three children on their shoulders. Follow the mysterious yeah, man in black. Yes. I believe we found all of the secrets. The man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. Only one way. Where are you headed, creepy man in black? No squares Jenny allowed. couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. I need to get out of his line of sight. Which means we're gonna run directly at him. Wait, can we... That's my way up. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. Which is how? Oh, we throw a stone at it. <laughs> Spooky. Secrets. Aha. Sticker. Oh, it's so cute. No, I can't go into the treehouse. Sad. So we're going above him is what it looks like. Bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? How the heck? How did he do that? How indeed? Mm. That's interesting. I wonder if we'll be able to go around that. Where is this leading? Okay. Natural bridge, trees. Love it. The man in black had taken the higher path towards the Almasdan bridge. Hmm. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there. Any circuits? I'm not seeing any. Slow motion running. Follow the man in black. Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't <laughs> know he was being watched. Well, gang, it looks like we got another mystery on our hands. Indeed it does. Indeed it does, Freddy. The man in black neared the edge of the unfinished bridge. Does that make me His daffy? methodical movements a unnerved robot. Jenny. I need to get a better look at him. He's a robot. 
CJ was right. I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. <laughs> if it weren't for you daring, meddling but kids. Reckless. I have no choice. Ooh, is there a... He's my only lead. I wonder if there's a Scooby-Doo game. And like so, a Scooby-Doo video undaunted game. Undaunted by I the play dangers it. that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Okay, Yesterday a child. Today, a courageous adventurer. Enough with the exposition. Let's go. Get in the boat. Easy does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. Immediately dings the boat. I like how they did that so that it still keeps you on the 2D plane. Scooby Doo Cyber Mysteries? Is that actually a game? If it is, shoot me a link. Jenny glanced down for the first time. Oh, jeez. And immediately wished she hadn't. It's she clung tightly very, to the stone very wall. Far. The oh, it's PS1? Was narrow, I don't have a PS1. Barely wide enough to stand on. One false move and... Focus, Jenny. <gasps> Perfect pitch! The hallmark of a serial killer. <laughs> Maybe I can get a closer look. I've got perfect pitch, and I'm not a serial killer. There you are. And in black, extremely creepy. Identity unknown. Likes long walks in the woods and children's literature. The brim of his hat concealed his face that and shadow. That is what one of them would say. The man How in black remained an enigma. How dare y'all? Could be three kids in a raincoat I mean, for I do wear a mask, so... What would my He's serial killer What's he nickname waiting for? be? Yes. Oh. No. The masked viper. Yes. No. I like it. Wow. This guy's a real chatterbox. Yes. It's all there. Clear as day. Who is he talking to? That voice is familiar. No. It wasn't there. Yes. The whole house. She must have it. What was he looking for? It sounds like of her course. grandfather. Where? Hold on. What's he doing now? Where did he go? <laughs> Super secret spy stash? Say that five times fast. I can't hear what he's saying. Yes, I'll take care of her. Tonight. What? They change shifts at four. Huh? Yes, it's all here. What's on that paper? Yes, the biggest cross. I know. Oh, hey, gallery art.
More gallery art. He's destroying evidence. There goes into the water. I think I know what our next mission is going to be. It. For good. She was only distracted for a moment, but a moment was enough. Where'd he go? Damn! How does he do that? Did he jump? Gotta see if there's any more secrets. There is secrets. Ha ha! I was right. Always check for collectibles! Okay, that's as far as I can go. And that was as far as we could go that way. Okay. I wish we could do the ladder slide like some games let us do. Right, Detective, I'm off to bed. Alright, you have a good sleep. See you next time. Glad to have you in. It has been great. Uh, entrance. Pay your something. Don't for get fallen angel. Uh, entrance. This is probably going to be here somewhere. The arches. So this is probably going to be there. Effects. Hmm. No, that's upside down. It's probably there. Pay your specs. Oh, look for the biggest cross. There we go. Jenny held the soggy paper delicately. She hadn't recovered all the pieces, but enough to discern the message. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. The entrance is buried there. Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? There are directions to a secret entrance. For what? But an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. Mom? Why is it on a photo Jenny's of her mom? Heart skipped several beats. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's. Gonna Going murder? To... Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Mom's in terrible danger! Oh no. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. He'd never get past them. He uh, won't have to. Uh. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. A way to get to the jail without being detected. But where? That's not good. Uh, zoom. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gate, the entrance is buried. The entrance is buried there. Buried. The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. Where did people bury things? Hmm. The graveyard! Guess we're going to the graveyard, chaps. Of course. The She's graveyard is in the same part now of town personal. as the jail. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. 
all features of the graveyard. I have nice. to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. This was all well and good, but even if she was right, even if she managed to reach her mother before the man in black, how am I going to break her out? It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into her head. As loath as she was to admit it, Jenny needed help. Uh oh. She reached into her jacket pocket and removed the walkie talkie Susie had given her. Dun, dun, dun. Susie, are you there? Jenny? Thank goodness. Are you okay? Jeez. What is that awful music? Oh. I'm just rehearsing my dance for. I regret asking. <laughs> you said earlier you wanted to. Yes? You said you wanted to. Help? Of course. Anything <laughs> for you, friend. Okay. Meet me at the graveyard right away. At the graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. I don't know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. Uh, inspire or command? Inspire. Don't you see, Susie? This is your chance to prove yourself. Do you want your whole life to be dictated by your parents? Well, no, but... There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. But does it have to be right now? <laughs> My mom's fate hangs in the balance, and I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Which side of history will you be on? Um, the good side? Great. Then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay, I'll be there, Jenny. Okay. What should I wear? I'm thinking practical, but colorful. Oh my god. I don't care. <laughs> Just bring your silent explosives. What? What do you need <laughs> explosives for? I'm gonna break my mom out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no! I am an artist! I will not be dictated to by some pinpusher in an ivory tower. It's too long, too violent, too dark. These are my characters! So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? All this fighting, all this drama, and for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Maybe it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes, let's fix this nonsense once and for all. Oh, puppy. You're right, Rufus. First, I need another drink. I think you've drunk enough, sir. I see gallery art. Mine. What happens next? Rescue mom. Too dangerous. Revealed Arthurton's darkest secrets. Arthurton should be full of joy. Push Jenny to her limits. Too stressful. Happy ending. Super fun surprise on Burden Readers. Exotic new location. Such a good idea. Focus on friendship. Keep friends happy. Ugh. Okay, this looks like a map of Arthurton. Ah, more art. Yes, thank you. I'll take that. And that. He's actually a pretty good artist. This room's very found in pieces. I like how he's got this. Um... Oh, I can choose the next chapter. What do you guys think? I'm thinking graveyard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, what do you think, Paul? Paul, Callie, graveyard. Fox says graveyard. What do you think, Paul? Paul and Callie, if you're still here. 
I know Dee Dee already left, but, uh... Don't know. Choices, choices. I don't know what his thing is about unburdening readers. Like, what age group is he writing for? Is it for, like, elementary school kids? Graveyard? Okay, two votes for Graveyard. Yep. Tear that down. Achievement unlocked! I live for danger! Looks like fate decided for me. <laughs> this one can't end like the others. They won't publish it. I must write something different. Something darker. It's the only chance I have of saving her. I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll see your mum soon. But for now, it's got to be the graveyard. Ominous. Was the man in black the Dean's real killer? Without any evidence, Jenny couldn't be sure. A great detective never made assumptions. The most important thing was getting her mum to safety. And to do that, she'd need to beat the man in black at his own game. Ooh. Sending shivers down my spine. Loving it. Events had taken a dramatic turn. Jenny's head bu buzzed with questions. Will Susie's explosives work? Why would anyone want to kill my mom? Can I find the jail before it's too late? Who is the man in black? The road ahead was fraught with danger, and Jenny would need all her wits to survive. One thing's for sure. I'm gonna need to be very quiet. So much for that. Hi, Jenny. I'm here. And I brought snacks. You look like where's Waldo. This is a covert mission. Could you draw any more attention to yourself? Sorry. I just wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Did you bring the explosives? Of course. Et voila. Now remember, nice. explosives are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, I'm here. What? What's the big emergency, Susie? Uh, hi. What is she doing here? How's it going? Keith, you came! You invited him? I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. Now is hardly the time! I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's too sad. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I should go. No, Keith, mm. wait. There was so much she wanted to say. This is so but awkward. she had ruined the Dean's funeral, embarrassed Keith in front of the whole town. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. She wanted to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black, and the mysterious room buried in the forest. But none of it would bring his father back. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. Apologize, don't apologize. We're apologizing. I'm not waiting for a vote on this. I... Apologize I, is always a good idea. I'm... sorry. Poor Keith. Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down. And the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. Are you okay, Jenny? Front, ignore, just go with ignore because... As angry as she was at Susie, 
Jenny knew this was a situation of her own making. We, uh, let's just focus on the task at hand. Yeah, because she meant well. You know she meant well. Is there any secrets? Aha! Secrets. A sticker! Or is it gonna let me go? Man, it, no, it's letting me go all the way back. Okay, no, we're gonna backtrack. Uh, anyways, it is almost time for us to end stream anyways. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to place some stickers on our notebook and then call it quits. Stickers, decorating. Uh, add. Let's see. Please do not cross. There we go. in here. Stick that there. Pumpkin on top. And I think that's probably good. We could have the um, could have the bird driving the boat going after the red herring, but I think we'll save that for next time. Alright. Quit? Yes, I am sure. Yes. Alright. That was a good stream. We got a lot done. Got a lot of secrets found. Got a ton of stickers and gallery art. I think we did pretty well. So, uh, our next stream will be on Thursday, as per usual. Um, I'm trying to think. Don't know what we will be. Actually, no, I do know what we'll be streaming. We'll be streaming um, the sexy brutal again. If I have stream on Thursday, we seem to have been missing a ton of Thursday streams. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what Saturday will be. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed playing the game for you. And it is always lovely to see your wonderful names in my chat. I love being able to talk to you and say hi. And you are always welcome here. Um, but that'll be all from us today. From me and kiddo. Uh, we will be back on Thursday, and I hope to see you there. So when you get around to it, sleep well, my lovelies, and have a wonderful rest of your night. Stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Have a good one, my lovelies. <laughs>